pliable material without further degradation. This was achieved by scrolling the teeth to draw the larger material away from the delivery end whilst breaking oversize and creating space for undersized material to flow unrestricted between the rotating shafts. Also, if the machine stalled full of material, it must be capable of clearing the blockage quickly to minimize downtime. This is simply achieved by the reversal of the shafts and breaker elements. Having successfully achieved this within the demanding underground environment, it became evident that the sizer's ability to process both hard dry material and wet be applied to other surface and underground applications. Since 1978, the company has refined and improved the size of its industries. Action is accomplished by the teeth cooperating to break mineral by three separate breaking actions, known as the primary breaking action, secondary breaking action, and tertiary breaking action. Here's a view of a detailed scale. A lump of coal is deposited into the machine. It will be seen that the lump in size is approximately the same as the center distance between the shafts. Primary breaking action is achieved by the mineral being gripped between the leading faces of opposed teeth. Large teeth on relatively small diameter scrolled shafts create troughs within the scrolls to provide an extensive grip area for primary breaking. The secondary breaking action is achieved by the mineral being gripped between the leading faces of teeth on one shaft and the rear faces of teeth on the other shaft. The third stage of breaking occurs as the contra-rotation